N-I-C-E. Might be worth having the old shinobi job with a place like this. Hey, what's up? I thought we could fight if you finished sightseeing! <laughs> and all I have to do is beat your meshy to get it. It's about time. Jin's coming down with his famous nosedive descent. I'd say he's ready to begin! but he proves unable to compete with Jen's swift aerial attack. Took a punch straight in the face just for a chance to kick me. He's a crazy rat for sure. <gasps> I admit that one didn't have much of a chance. Nice punch, though. This is gonna be fun. Yusuke's elbow and kick combination came from an almost impossible stance nearly unheard of in martial arts schools. I can't imagine any master teaching him that one. <laughs> We're a pair and a pod, you're a messy, never wanting to do anything the way people tell us to. Even if we don't make sense. Better to be messy on your own than right under someone's watch, am I right? Well, yeah, why let some teacher get the credit? Ha! <laughs> I figure I've been doing all right on my own so far. <laughs> What in the world are they talking about up there? They're both smiling. <laughs> I think you and Messi's finally found someone he can complain with. Oh? He's been a loner for about as long as I've known him. I mean, Keiko's the only one who could talk to him, and I'll be darned if I understand that relationship. But this Jin guy's just the same, like a twin. Hmm. Well, that'll make fighting with him difficult. What's wrong, Kurama? Are you all right? Just laughing. It seems you don't know brothers very well, Botan. I guess Wind has some perks after all. Jin seems to be a pretty strong opponent. Yusuke will have to be on high guard if he wants to win. Jin's a cheater, if you ask me, sir. He flies around in the air and Yusuke can't touch him. Well, as usual, I didn't ask you, Ogre, but the fact is that Jin uses his own energy to fly, so it's totally legal. All the same, sir, Yusuke's still at a big disadvantage because he can't fly. What should he do? No, I don't know. Let me show you something I picked up without the help from bosses flapping their gums. Jin's using is much more colorful than it appears. So you're ready? <laughs> Damn it! I'm flopping around like a windmill and he barely scratched me! Better avoid a direct hit. Looks like Yusuke's got a date with the cement! <laughs> Nicely played! He's clung like a fly on the wall! But I don't suspect he'll stay there for long! Here comes Jen for a second helping! <laughs> I love it! There's the audience participation that makes the dark tournament so special! I imagine any of you who survived that attack will remember it for years to come. Audience participation? I hate that girl. 
This is bad. It doesn't matter how strong your she is or how much fun he's having. If Jin hits him straight on with that tornado fist, it's over with. Stupid. <sighs> <laughs> Long time since I could bite somebody and actually have some cheer about it, you know? I think I do. <laughs> they might as well fork over the money to me now. Yusuke's the only boy they've got left, and Jin's impossible to beat when he's having fun. Besides, I'm pulling the whole tournament committee along by their ass hairs. You know it's not too late to place a bet, Sakyo. I'll stay with my own arrangements, thank you. Oh, so the highest roller of the betting world is playing it safe for once. I don't take chances, Buddha Jerry. I just happen to be well informed. Remind me to quote you on that when I'm rolling in green. I'm manipulating this whole round. How better informed can a person be? Hmm. I've decided I should have the power to control wind, too, Ogre. Look into it. What for, sir? Well, I'm sure I can do all sorts of heroic things. But more importantly, I'd get free air conditioning. That's noble of you, Koenma, sir. Very noble. There. Both fighters are back in the ring and ready for some fresh new injuries. Ooh, that's a wiggle. <laughs> Not this time, pal! You can follow their movements, right? Me? Uh, yeah. I'm spiritually aware. Good, you can inform me. <laughs> you mean right now? Well, uh, they're just... They're both punching each other very rapidly. That's very perceptive. <laughs> Thank you. On the ground, Yusuke has the greater speed. But unless he can clip Jin's wings, it's pointless. Here's my chance! And there's my chance going airborne, damn it! Jin's been hit hard, taking refuge in the air until his squashed diaphragm can recover. Listen, Miss Koto, why don't you stop the sadist routine and do your job? Excuse me? Jin's been out of the ring for half of the fight. Did it ever cross your mind to count to ten? Article 4. Fighters are outside the ring when any part of their body comes in contact with any solid surface other than the ring itself. And air is not solid. Ugh! Stick to what you're good at, honey. Like dyeing your hair unnatural colors, for instance. I swear I'm going to get her. Hey! What is this? How's your messy supposed to have a fair fight if Jin can run wherever he wants? <sighs> it's no wonder why Piggy was taking a dive in the seats then. Yusuke having punches like that is enough to kill any mug. <sighs> Guess I'll just rest up here a bit, think myself up another plan. <laughs> Will Jin be able to move back in time? Not too likely! That's right, I'm cool. Always underestimating the wind. pounder that one was did we get that on video please tell me we got that on video jen just used a wall of wind to turn yusuke's blast into a space cadet 
<laughs> Don't get all big-eyed. Any attack has to travel through air to get to me, right? I control the air, so you might as well hand them over and say, do whatever you want with them, Jen. <laughs> do whatever you want with them, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Your Messi's little light shows won't do anything against Jin's wind defenses now. Good. I've been waiting too damn long to see that boy get put in his place. Not just him, either. There's no one left on Your Messi's team who can fight. Once Yusuke's finished, they all are. Rip off his ugly human head! Jin's got the win! 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 Jin's got well, they don't have to act like it's already over. Yes, I thought the Kill Yusuke chant was a lot better. I always thought of wind as a sort of gentle breeze on a summer's day kind of thing. What about hurricanes and tornadoes, Goetma, sir? Jet streams, gale force winds, that's serious. Entire houses can be torn to pieces like matchboxes. Pencils can be shot through solid brick walls. Calm yourself, Ogre. You're spitting on me. Anyway, the problem here is that Jin can use his powers over wind for excellent offense and defense against Yusuke. That's not a happy combination. So Yusuke can't use his long-range attacks because Jin will deflect them with wind? Yeah, the spirit gun's pretty much a waste of time. He'll have to stick with the old fist fight in action. But every time Yusuke gets close enough for a final punch, Jin flies away! Well, yeah, that's true. So how in the flip is he supposed to hit him? I don't know, Bojan. Don't yell at me. The spirit gun should not be completely useless against Jin. There is one way to get past his defenses, but it will not be exactly safe. Don't have to worry about Yusuke being afraid, at least. Risking his life is the only constant strategy he has. Been a blast playing defender, but I think I'll get on with my attack. Here we go. Jen's winding up for another smashing tornado fist, but this time he's doing it while still in midair. Hope you're thinking quick, Yurameshi. There's only one way to do this. <laughs> Jin's on the move! He's headed straight for Yusuke! Huh? And yet the spirit detective is refusing to back down! He's not even guarding himself! Has he gone berserk? Don't be stupid, Yusuke! What is he doing? Now I understand. So, if he fires his attack point-blank into Jin's tornado... The energy will be caught in the wind current as it ignites, causing the explosion to surround them both. Let's see who can take a bigger ass-kicking! Spirit Gun! At least you try. Is it safe yet, Ogre? I don't think you want to look. Ah! Uh, 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 uh? Oh, my people! Both fighters have been obliterated in the explosion. Nothing is left of their bodies, not even a pile of ashes. Oh, hell. <laughs> Wait, I stand corrected. Yusuke Yurameshi has survived. Only Jin's been incinerated. Huh? Never mind again. Jen is alive and looking quite perturbed. I thought I was crazy, Yurameshi, but you take the prize. The hell was that? You don't make bombs go boom in your face. Damn, at least one of us should have died. He's no amateur opponent. I'm not saying he is, but that was a clean shot. Yes. But Jin saw your strategy in the last moment and took evasive action. Rather than guard himself, he tilted the airstream, sending most of the blast upward, probably saving both your lives. 
so he's funny and smart. That hardly seems fair. As a shinobi, he has much experience. A simple trick isn't going to beat him. I hope you have more extensive plans. <laughs> oh, come on. It's Yusuke here. I don't have a clue. You might not be so proud after you're defeated. Shut up. Something always comes to me at the end. Well, yes, even a fool has to admit a certain truth to that, Yusuke. So go ahead and be as reckless as you want to. If you do get killed, I'll be taking your spot in the next fight anyway. What? Please, even if you could escape me, it's illegal to return after you've been ruled unfit to fight. Illegal? Listen, Ruka, my power has nearly returned and I'm going to fight. And anyone who says otherwise, well, I think you know the rest. Oh. You truly have a way with women here. Yusuke returns to the ring! Don't get too excited, Hiei. I'm taking on their leader just as soon as I beat down Jen. Oh, just as soon as you beat Jen, you say? Better pitch yourself quick then. Last I remember it was you running around the floor trying to stay up. <laughs> yeah, but this time I thought I'd try. Funny man, you're a messy. Then I'll try as well. Fight! <laughs> I guess the finger gong can handle two of these dallies at once. Ooh, baby, two tornado fists buckled on at once. I think we've got a challenge. I'll say there's no way I can deflect both of those with my spirit gun. Spirit grenade launcher, maybe, but definitely not a gun. Yusuke's having enough trouble as it is with just one tornado. Yeah, we better hope that he's feeling creative. <laughs> two big shots with one attack? Come on, Yusuke, you know it's the only choice. Even if you don't really know how to use it. Wait! Now this is unexpected! Yusuke is taking a stance I've never seen him take before! Huh? He's going to try it. Genkai's signature. Yusuke's handled elements of the move countless times in his training. I know for a fact he's never used its full form. With his utter lack of discipline, Genkai was never led to believe Yusuke was ready for it. She still doesn't believe it, I would even venture to say. The move could definitely compete with Jin, but it could also destroy Yusuke's body from within. Ah! Holy smokes, that pose! It does look curious, sir. Is it yoga? It's a fighting stance, you hope, and it happens to be for Genkai's greatest specialty. I could never forget that one. Oh, you're talking about the spirit wave, aren't you, sir? Exactamundo. And Yusuke specifically told me he hadn't learned it. Huh. He can stand upside down with his thumb up his ass for all I care. He's not gonna win. Never seen your Meshi do that crazy stuff with his hands before. Me neither. Have patience. He certainly has a history for surprises. I hit the wind on him now, so I see. He's wrapping around like one big tornado of his own. Woo, and we and fun swords flying that power like crazy he is. <laughs> I can't be waiting anymore. Let's play it! <laughs> We had was nice, and I see you like myself. Two whirlwinds doesn't mean I hate you, only means I have respect. All right, Yusuke, you've tried everything else. Time to be stupid. What the hell is he doing now? You might not be needed after all. Hmm. Yusuke's spirit gun channels his spirit energy into one small point. His index finger. But this technique will turn his entire body into a channeling weapon. From what I understand, he never quite perfected this with Genkai. Oh, be careful. The attack could be very effective if the strain doesn't kill him first. Mm -hmm. Sir, Yusuke's body is churning out unbelievable amounts of energy. He seems a little unstable. Do you suppose this is safe? 
Honestly, sir, it's hard for me to think with your sucking noises. You realize you've been going like a vacuum cleaner since Yusuke started this fight? <laughs> What's with this pacifier anyway? You're too old for TV. I really don't think you need it. What the? <laughs> Actually, this baby's got a great amount of significance for me, Ogre. And yes, I thought you'd pull something like that. <laughs> I hate this job. Now we're talking, you're a messy. Your wind's running like a typhoon. If my ears were any point, you're right. Poke out a person's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some fun, Jed. Love to! You stay! <laughs> it's all in the bag. Come, Yusuke, let's see if you're truly capable. Tornado fist! Ah. Hey, what are you doing now, Yusuke? Tornado in the hand, no one does! Disabling his first attack, but there's still another tornado fist in his arsenal. Uh, it's goodbye. <laughs> Look at it again. Spirit Tells me nothing. Think he likes surprising people. <sighs> After that massive uppercut by Yusuke, Jin has yet to return from the sky. Could he be using his wind powers again? Is this marathon still not over? What just happened? I think we better stand somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Now. Okay. I wonder where they're going. I'd like to fight this Genkai someday. Yusuke did well for a first try. The spirit wave is a flexible move, similar to Yusuke's shotgun. It can make a large spread if fired from a distance. Harder for an opponent to dodge, but not as damaging as a spirit gun. The true advantage of the spirit wave comes when it's shot point blank through a punch or kick. Genkai believes Yusuke has much to learn, but at least he did that right.
That was a damn good fight, Jin. Nice to know I'm not the only freak around. Maybe we'll hang.